Hi, in this demo, we are going to see how we can attach external storage to the pods, which containers in the pod can mount. On the screen, you see a configuration file to create a pod. Inside the pods spec section, we can have a volumes section in which we can mention the external storage we want to attach to the pod, which containers can mount. Like in this case, we are using the volume type called host path and our path is slash mnt html we are referring this host path configuration as test hyphen volume each container in a pod can decide at what location they want to mount the volume with the volume mounts section like in this case the test hyphen volume volume would be mounted under slash usr slash share slash nginx slash html let us now create this pod with the kubectl apply command our pod test hyphen pd is now created with kubectl get pods command we can list the pods and with minus o wide option we can also get the details like the pods ip and the node on which this pod got scheduled like in this case our pod got scheduled to lfs 151 hyphen node 2 according to our configuration slash mnt says html folder of the node 2 would be mounted inside the container of the pod let us now log into our node 2 if we have a folder of slash mnt slash html on the node 2 then it would be mounted inside the container but if not then the folder slash mnt slash html would be created like in our case the folder got created and currently contains no files now in this folder we're going to create a file called index.html with some content here we are creating a file called index.html inside slash mnt slash html folder with the content as shown on the screen. Inside the container, the destination of the mount is the document root for our Nginx server, which means if we are going to access the pod's IP, then it is going to serve the Nginx page. In the pod, we are creating a container from Nginx and we are mounting our volume inside the nginx document root so slash mnt slash html folder of the node 2 would be mounted inside the container at the document root of nginx so if we now access the ip address of our pod we should be able to see the content we have written in the index.html let us now use the curl command with the ip of the pod and as expected you see the content we have written in the index.html so in this demo we have seen how we can mount an external volume inside the containers of a pod